morning and everybody. I'm Ty Linder with another edition of Coach's Corner right here on KentStateSports.com. Today our guest is Jim Andresi, former Golden Flashes wrestler, now the head coach in his ninth season. He's won another championship this year and Coach, you had a chance to celebrate it at home this year over Eastern Michigan. Nice not only for, for you, but for your kids as well. Yeah, it, you know, it's the first time we've won in Kent since I want to say 1989 or 88 maybe is what it is, um, somewhere along, along that line. And it was just nice to be able to win at home. It was senior night. We had all of our seniors wrestling except for one, and they all won their matches too, which was great too for the program and for those kids. This is when guys really start to, to feel it, don't they, with the training and whatnot. Yeah, it, you know, we, we actually start to – shorten things and make them you know you get into practice you, you come in you get your work done you leave you don't keep them there too long you don't try to burn the burn them out any more than they already are it's it's this part of the season where you're trying to get the the guy's feet back under them so you know it it's it's beginning of february and we're trying to make that run to pay our guys peak at the beginning of march you guys haven't really been at 100 percent full strength all season long you've been pretty banged up that included your, the weekend when you won your two home matches and this past week at the national duels, are you getting closer to full strength? I, I, I believe we'll be full strength unless something else happens. I believe we'll be full strength uh, for the Clarion match and then going into the Mac term. We, we should be, so that's what we're expecting, yes. Prestigious uh, national duels that you were able to take part in last weekend, was that uh, what you imagined it would be? It was a nice event. It was great that we, we were invited. Um, we'll be invited again next year because of our, our final ranking, and uh, it's just good for college wrestling, you know, as far as declaring a, a national champ next week which they'll do and our goal hopefully is to be wrestling in weekend two which you know we didn't make it this year but we're making steps and like I said our goal next year will be to wrestle on weekend number two. Such a great individual sport so we've talked about some of the team accomplishments how about some of your individual guys? Well we got Nick Bell down who's, who's ranked fourth in the country and uh, I guess if you look at him and where he was at coming out of high school I don't think anyone thought he'd be ranked fourth in the country at this point in his career. Um, so he's done a real good job for us. He ended up losing against a second-ranked kid in a, in a very, very well-fought match with both guys. Um, Sanderson from Minnesota, it was 3-3 three, three, three with about a minute left in the match. And um, Nick ended up giving some points up and then trying to kind of come back and give up some more points. But it was a great match, and it's one of those guys where we know where he's at now, and hopefully he can jump a few steps to, as, he, as he tries to compete for national title as we move forward. Um, Tyler Small is a top-10-ranked kid in the country, and like I said, who would have thought he would have been a top-10 guy last year after the season – I think he was a 500 wrestler last year, figured out a way to make it to the national tournament by doing well at our conference, and has just done everything we've asked of him this year, and like I said, he's a top 10 guy, and we're happy to have him on our team. And, uh, um, you know, Barlow's been a little bit on and off. Um, he had a great match with the fourth-ranked heavyweight in the country, went into triple overtime, he ended up losing on riding time. Um, but like I said, Casey Newberg's a, a top 20 guy. Um, we've got a lot of top 20 guys on our team, and, and it's probably one of the best programs or best teams we've had in a long, long time. Could we get an update on Dustin Kilgore? Dustin is at the Olympics right now. He's number two on the ladder. Um, he's at Olympic Training Center training there. Just wrestled uh, in the Dave, Sh Dave Schultz uh, Classic, and he took second there. He lost to another Russian. Um, it seems like he's lost to a lot of different Russian guys. They're the one country that seemed to have his number. Um, but like I said, he's doing great, loves it. Um, he believes that he'll be able to compete for that Olympic spot. Um, and... You know, realistically, he's probably a guy that in four years, I think he's not only looking for an Olympic spot in four years, but also looking, looking to win Olympic gold in four mm -hmm. years. This year, I think if he were able to make it, and it would be, it would be a great thing for him and the program. But I, I think this is more of a learning year. He really only started wrestling freestyle when he, his first year in college. This was his fourth year of freestyle wrestling on a part-time basis. Um, he's been there all year doing it. He'll, he'll continue to stay there until April. After that, he'll figure out, you know, if he qualifies, he doesn't qualify, and then he'll figure out if they need him as a training partner or whatnot. But... Um, he'll probably be gone until about August, and he'll come back to us at that point, and then we'll start getting him back in that collegiate mode. Well, you, as you mentioned, you'll have the Clarion uh, match coming up, not to disrespect them, but then you are really making a concerted effort this year to win not only the regular season MAC championship, but go to the tournament and get that done as well. How do you see that shaking down? Well, if we go there and wrestle like we have the ability to, it shouldn't, you know, we should, we should have a Central Michigan-like year where they just dominate mm -hmm. bo both ways through. And if we look at the dual meets, we pretty much dominated our way through all the dual meets in the conference. So I'm expecting us to go there, to be wrestling our best, to have all our guys peaking at the right time, and, and to walk away with a, a team championship, a, a tournament championship also. And like I said, I don't even remember the last time that someone besides Michigan or Central Michigan didn't win one of the titles. Yeah. Um, they won the last 12 or 13 tournament titles. So I think OU was in there maybe one time back about 10 years ago. But besides that, it's been them winning one or the other for a long time. So our hope is to go in there and to – 
to, to bring home both, both trophies. And uh, I'd be very, very disappointed, probably one of the most disappointing things in my career if we don't win it up to this point, just because of the personnel we have and, and the kids we have and the, you know even the, some of the weight classes where, like a Ross Tice, he hasn't had a very good season, but we're expecting him to go there and do very well at the tournament because he's had a, a, a history of doing well there. So we're expecting big things from every one of our guys. You're looking for the fourth straight year after a long gap without one to have another All-American, maybe yeah. a few, uh, maybe a top 10 team finish. You go back to St. Louis for the national championships, that should be fun. Yeah, it's a great place to hold a national championship. The, everything's right there in downtown. Everything's in walking distance. Our guys like it. it it's it's pretty much the, the middle of the country, so a lot of a lot of our fans will show up for it. Um, like I said, I like the way the tournament's set up there, just because of how you can get kids back and forth to the hotel. We give them their rest and everything. Um, guys like Nick and and uh, Brendan are, are used to the facility. Mally Schuster's been there to watch one, so we got a lot of guys on our team that have been there to watch it too, and that helps when you're trying to prepare. And right now, if you look at it. We've got right around six to seven guys that have already qualified for the, you know, we have six for sure, possibly seven guys that have already qualified for the right. national tournament. Things are a little different nowadays as far as how you qualify. Definitely six. If Witt can continue to win, he might bring a spot also. And that would be seven spots that almost guaranteed to take the national tournament right after you weigh in on, for the MAC the conference tournament, which would be a great thing. We've never had, I've never had more than six, and I can't remember the last time our program has taken more than six people to the national tournament since the, the 80s. Well, it's been another banner year already for the Golden Flashes wrestling team, and they will look to keep it going by knocking off Clarion and then heading for the MAC Wrestling Championships. For head coach Jim Andersey, I'm Tylender. This has been Coach's Corner on KentStateSports.com.